The FIDE World Chess Championship 2004 was held at the Almaheri Hotel in Tripoli, Libya, from June 18 to July 13. It was won by Rustam Kasimdranov, who beat Michael Adams in the final by a score of 4.5 to 3.5. He won about $100,000 and the title of FIDE World Chess Champion. The intention was that the tournament winner would play world number one Garry Kasparov in a step towards the reunification of the World Chess Championship, which had been split into two separate titles since the World Chess Championship 1993. However, that match never took place. Topic. Reunification of the title Topic. Pre-tournament Ever since 1993, when Garry Kasparov and Nigel Short broke away from chess governing body five to play their world championship match under the auspices of the newly formed Professional Chess Association, there had been two chess world championships, one organized by FIDE which used the knockout format from 1998 to 2004 and one by a variety of other bodies in the form of a long match between champion and challenger. The 2004 FIDE Championship was a part of what was, at the time, the most serious attempt yet to reunify the title, the so-called Prague Agreement. The plan under this agreement when it was drawn up in 2002 was that reigning FIDE world champion Ruslan Ponomaryov and world number one on the FIDE ELO rating list Garry Kasparov played a match, and that the so-called classical World champion Vladimir Kramnik and winner of the 2002 Dortmund tournament which turned out to be Petr Liko, played each other. The winners of these two matches would then play one another to produce a unified champion. The match between Ponomaryov and Kasparov, however, fell through after Fied refused to alter various things in the contract on Ponomaryov's request, and he refused to sign. FIDE announced that instead the winner of the next FIDE knockout championship played against Kasparov in a match to be held not later than July 2005. Kramnik and Liko played their match in September to October 2004. Therefore, as well as the championship determining who was to be the next FIDE world champion, it would also determine who played Kasparov in what was effectively a semi final match for the unified championship. Topic. Post tournament After Kasimdranov's victory, FIDE opened the bidding for the Kasimdranov Kasparov match in August 2004, bids to be received by September 15. This deadline was later extended to September 25. The organizer was to be chosen at the FIDE presidential board meeting in October 2004, but in fact, FIDE president Kirsten Ilyumjinov announced ahead of this time that the match had been awarded to the United Arab Emirates. The plan did not come to fruition, the promised funding for the match never arrived, and plans to hold the match instead in Turkey also came to nothing. The whole question of how and when the kasparov kasimdranov match would take place, or what would occur in its stead, was made irrelevant by Kasparov's announcement in March 2005 that he was retiring from serious chess. Kasimdranov's victory did, however, earn him and runner-up Michael Adams an invitation to the FIDE World Chess Championship 2005. Kasimdranov also gained automatic entry to the candidates' tournament for the FIDE World Chess Championship 2007. The World Championship was eventually reunified in 2006, when classical champion Kramnik defeated the winner of the FIDE World Chess Championship 2005, Veselin Topalov. Topic. Controversies The event attracted many controversies. Topic. Format One source of criticism, in common with when it has been used for previous FIDE championships, has been the event's format. In particular, the relatively quick time controls have been controversial. 90 minutes for the first 40 moves, followed by 15 minutes till the end of the game and an incremental time of 30 seconds per move from move 1, Zhang Jung, for example, was quoted as saying. The time limit is too fast for such a world championship. We should call it a World Cup. A world championship needs more classic time controls. 
and Nigel Short claimed that, "...if you took the top 100 players and survey their opinion you would probably find around 75% are against this time control." Another criticism centered on the knockout format of the tournament. Although knockout matches had been used prior to the introduction of this tournament format, the brevity of these matches best of two elimination matches with a best of six championship match, as opposed to the best of ten elimination matches and best of 24 championship match seen in earlier cycles led many to consider them to be of little value in determining the better player. Topic. Location. Perhaps the greatest criticism has concerned the choice of Libya as venue. Claims of human rights abuses, and state-sponsored terrorism have caused some consternation, but on a more practical level the country's history of not allowing entry to citizens of Israel has been of some concern, as three Israeli players, Boris Gelfand, Emil Sotovsky and Ilya Smirin, had either qualified for the championships or were high on the list of reserves in the event of qualifiers choosing not to play. Additionally, a number of players have joint Israeli and American citizenship, and so were also expected to be disallowed entry. With this in mind, FIDE originally announced that a parallel event in Malta would be held alongside the one in Tripoli to ensure that Israeli players could take part. Satovsky sent his entry form back on the condition he played in Malta. This parallel event was cancelled, however, following a press release from the Libyan authorities that the Great Socialist People's Libyan Arab Jamaharia will pleasantly provide entry visas to all the qualified participants of this great championship, which was taken by most, including FIDE, to mean that all players, including Israelis, would be welcome to take part. This appeared to be contradicted by a statement from Mohammed Gaddafi, chairman of the Libyan Olympic Committee, FIDE is affiliated with the IOC and son of Libyan leader Muammar al Gaddafi, that we, the Libyans, did not and will not invite the Zionist enemy to this championship. Several prominent figures have criticized FIDE over this matter, with both Grandmaster Boris Gulko, a Jew with joint American and Israeli citizenship, and Beatrice Marinello, President of the United States Chess Federation writing open letters to FIDE criticizing their handling of the issue. On May 13, the Anti-Defamation League wrote to FIDE, saying it was troubling that Libya should be hosting the championships, and urging FIDE to ensure that Israeli players were treated equally. The letter raises concerns over the Libyans not allowing the coaches and families of Israeli players into the country. Similar concerns were expressed in an Association of Chess Professionals ACP open letter of May 26. The ACP have also criticized several other aspects of the tournament's organization. FIDE has maintained throughout that Israeli players would have been issued with visas upon their arrival in Libya. This assurance was never put to the test, however, none of the qualified players took part in the championship and Boris Gulko, who has joint American and Israeli citizenship, withdrew from the event after initially indicating he will play fellow Americans Alexander Shabalov and Alexander Onischuk also withdrew in sympathy with the concerns of Gulko and others. The only player in the final list of participants with an Israeli passport, Vadim Milov, representing Switzerland, never traveled to Libya. He complained that his official invitation to the event had arrived so late on the day of the opening ceremony, one day before the first game, that it was physically impossible for him to get to Libya with it in time. Milov claims that this constituted a deliberate attempt by FIDE to exclude him. In response, Fide said that the delay in sending Milov's invitation was due to Milov not sending him his passport details until a deadline had passed, and that even with this delay, Milov could still have arrived in Tripoli in time for his first game, which they had offered to postpone if necessary. Milov took his case to the Court of Arbitration for Sport Tribunal Arbitral de Sport in Lausanne which found that Fide undertook extraordinary efforts to make sure that claimant Milov could participate in the WCC 2004 although such efforts could and should have been made earlier, and ultimately cleared FIDE of any ill-intentioned effort to exclude Milov, concluding, there is no ground for claimant to claim damages from respondent. Milov later responded to this decision in an open letter. It was also reported that the Israeli Chess Federation was considering suing FIDE for compensation for the damages incurred by our exclusion from this tournament. Strength 
As a result of these and other factors, many of the players who were invited to take part in the tournament, including world number no. 2 Vaswanathan Anand, and No. 6 Peter Svidler, declined. In addition, Kasparov, Kramnik and Liko did not take part owing to them being involved at a later stage of the reunification process. This led to a somewhat weaker lineup than previous championships, with only three of the world's top ten accepting the invitation to play, and only two of those actually turning up to the event. This weakness has itself been a cause of controversy, with claims that any tournament with so many top players missing should not be considered a world championship at all. Topic. List of participants On May 28, FIDE published a list of participants in the championship which was billed as final. However, changes were made following the withdrawal of Gulko, Shabalov and Onischuk. A later final list included players of a range of skills from Veselin Topalov rated 2737 and number 5 in the world on the FIDE ELO rating list down to Tarek Abulhurl rated just 2076. It included only three of the world's top 10. The following are the 128 players included in this list in order of seeding from highest rank to lowest, with the country they represent and their FIDE ELO rating on the April 2004 list. It should be noted that four of these players, Morozovic, Milov, Shulman and Hartarsson, did not appear for their first round matches and were defaulted. Topic. Rounds 1 to 4 The tournament was played in the knockout format which had become standard for FIDE championships in recent years. Rounds 1 to 5 consisted of two game mini matches, round 6 the semi-finals of four game matches, and the final of a six game match. These games were all played with a time control of 1 hour 30 minutes, plus an extra 15 minutes at move 40, and an increment of 30 seconds per move, starting with move 1. If the score at the end of a match was tied, tie-break games would be played. First, two games at a time control of 25 minutes for the whole game plus 10 seconds increment per move. If the score was still tied, another two games would be played at a time control of 5 minutes with a 10 second increment per move. If the score was still tied after these four extra games, a single game of Armageddon chess would be played where white had six minutes and black had five, with no increment, white must win the game whereas black only needed to draw. All standard time control games began at 2.30 p.m. local time. Tie breaks began at 8.30 p.m. on the day of the last standard game, apart from tie breaks for the semi-finals which were played on 2.30 p.m. the day after the last standard game, and for the final which would be at 12.30 p.m. the day after the last standard game. The chief arbiter for the tournament was Panagiotis Nikolopoulos. Topic. Section 1 Topic. Section 2 Topic. Section 3 Topic. Section 4 Topic. Section 5 Topic. Section 6 Topic. Section 7 Topic. Section 8 The games of Round 1 were played on June 19 and June 20, with tie breaks on the evening of June 20. Four of the 64 scheduled Round 1 matches games did not take place at all, Morozovic, Milov, Shulman and Hartarsson all failed to appear for the first game, their opponents Alabi, Nilotpal, Tikachev and Kudrin progressed into Round 2 by default. Top seed Topalov had problems with his flight into Libya, and the start of his first game had to be postponed until 5 p.m. 
The seeding system in operation, whereby the top seed plays the bottom seed, the number 2 plays number 127, number 3 plays number 126 and so on, meant that serious round 1 upsets were unlikely, and indeed there were few surprises. Several of the top players, among them Yi seeded 12, Azmiparashvili 14, and Rublevsky 17, required the first pair of tie-break games to advance, and Vallejo Pons 21 only went through after the two five-minute games, but in the end, all progressed as expected. The biggest first round upset in terms of rating difference was Kritz rated 2,534 and seeded 105 knocking out Sasakiran 2,659 by winning both standard games. Apart from the defaults, he and Hamduchi, who beat Motilev, were the only players to overcome a rating difference of more than 100 points to advance to round 2. The games of round two were played on June 21 and June 22, with tie breaks on the evening of June 22. Round two saw one major upset and a number of smaller ones. The big surprise was Nigel Short six being knocked out by Mitchell Krasenkow 59. In game one, Short with White had the advantage of Rook for Knight and Pawn and was trying to squeeze a win out of it when, after around five hours of play, the position in the diagram arose. Short played the blunder 121. Re 6. See algebraic notation, and resigned a move later. He obtained a slight advantage in game 2, but it wasn't enough to win, and the draw knocked him out of the competition. Other upsets included Sokolov 9 losing out to Karlov 73, Malakov 7 being knocked out by Dominguez 58 in the last tiebreaker and Asmiparashvili 14 losing to Laston 51. Most of the top players had little difficulty, however, Topalov 1, Adams 3, Grischuk 4, Nisipinu 8, and Dreve 10 all progressed after the first two games. Ivanchuk 5 required tiebreakers, but still advanced to round 3 as expected. The games of round 3 were played on June 23 and June 24, with tiebreaks on the evening of June 24. The surprise of round three was Ivanchuk 5 being knocked out by Kasimdranov 28. The two standard time control games had been fairly quiet affairs and were both drawn, the second, with Kasimdranov white, after just 16 moves, and the first rapid game was also drawn. In the second, Ivanchuk, despite having white, did little to press for a win, and the fairly level position shown arose. 21. BXB7 QXB7 appears to be equal, but Ivanchuk instead played 21. RC1, which simply lost a pawn to 21. QXA3. Ivanchuk resigned six moves later, in a position which was certainly worse but from which many players would have at least tried to play on. Ivanchuk has something of a reputation for being let down by his nerves, and this may have been another instance of that. Elsewhere, there were minor surprises when Krasenkow 59 followed up on his victory over Short to eliminate Svarinziv 27, 16-year-old Nakamura 83, the youngest player remaining in the tournament, dispatched Laston 51, and Grischuk 4 required the blitz tiebreakers to see off Filipov 36, Kazuls 49 win over Rublevsky 17 took his score for the event to 5.5, 6, with a performance rating of over 3,000. Top seeds Topalov 1 and Adams 3 advanced with little difficulty, winning their games with white and drawing with black. After a rest day on June 25, the games of round 4 were played on June 26 and June 27, with tie breaks on the evening of June 27. Two surprise results occurred when Karlov 73 and Dominguez continued their impressive runs by knocking out Nisipinu 8 and Dreve 10, respectively, both recording their second win against a top 10 player in the tournament. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rounds 5 to 6. The quarterfinals were played on June 28 and June 29, with tie breaks on the evening of June 29. In Game 1 of Round 5, every game ended in a win for White. Top seeds Topalov, who had won every game apart from one draw going into this round, and Adams won as expected, but the other two wins were slight upsets. Rajabov lost to Dominguez after a complicated opening after which White emerged with three connected passed pawns for a bishop, and Grischuk lost to Kasimdranov in an exchange Rai Lopez. 
In the position shown in the diagram, which appears to be better for black, Grischuk slipped up with 46. BC2, allowing 47. NE6 plus. This forks the king and bishop on c5, so 47. Rxe6 is forced, but this deflects the rook from defense of d7, allowing 48. R3 d7 plus Kb6 49. Rb8 plus, a skewer which picks up the rook on b2. Grischuk fought on before resigning on move 73. The match Rajabov Dominguez ended 3 and a half to 3 and a half with Rajabov only advancing by virtue of drawing with black in the final Armageddon tiebreaker. After a rest day on June 30, the semi-finals were played on July 1, 2, 3 and 4, with tie breaks on July 5. The first game of Kasimdranov Topalov was a Queen's Gambit which was drawn after just 15 moves in a position that has occurred in Grandmaster play several times before. Kasimdranov did not press for a win, despite having the advantage of the white pieces. He followed a similar strategy in his match against Ivanchuk, possibly in the belief that if he could draw the standard time control games, he would have better chances in rapid and blitz. Rajabov Adams game one was more eventful. Rajabov went for the Catalan opening and Adams introduced a new idea in the position shown with 9. NB6-10. QE2 Na 5 to hold on to his extra C pawn in the past, 9. NXC3-10. BXC3 B5 had been played. Rajabov was unable to do much with any compensation he may have had, and eventually Adams was left to clean pawn up. He successfully converted this into a win to go 1-0 up. In game 2, Adams played the Rosalimo to Rajabov's Sicilian defense 1. E4 C5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5. Neither player obtained a significant advantage and a draw was agreed after White's 17th move. Topalov Kasimdranov game 2 looked for a while like it would become more interesting. Kasimdranov played the Can Sicilian defense 1. E4 C5 2. NF3 E6 3. D4 C X D4 4. NX D4 A6 and Topalov opted for a Marikzi bind type structure with 5. C4. In response, Kasimdranov set up a hedgehog with pawns on a6, b6, d6 and e6 and pushed his h-pawn to h3 to soften up Topalov's king side. In an unclear position, moves were repeated, and a draw was agreed after move 25. Game 3 was harder fought. From a Sicilian defense, Topalov gained control of the open c-file and invaded the white position, while Kasimdranov obtained some king side pressure. Topalov's position appeared preferable, but he was unable to turn his advantage into anything solid and, with both players becoming short of time, Kasimdranov won a pawn. Topalov appeared to have everything under control, however, and, by using his king actively, ensured that White could make no progress. A draw was agreed on move 63. Rajabov Adams game 3 was a scotch opening in which Rajabov appeared to build up a powerful attack. He may have missed a good chance to win with 26. Rf7, instead a draw was agreed on move 27. This left Rajabov needing a win in game 4 to take the match to tie breaks, a difficult feat when playing black against a 2700 plus rated player. From the beginning of 2002 to this game, Adams had lost only one game with White in a normal time control game against Alexei Shirov in Reykjavik 2003. Faced with such a tough task, Rajabov played an extremely unusual opening, the Gundram defense, 1. e4 e5 2. nf3 qe7. Adams played solidly, however, and never had a worse position. The game was drawn in 44 moves, putting Adams into the final. Topalov Kasimdranov game 4 was a Bogo Indian. Neither side seemed to have much of an advantage for most of the game, and when things simplified to a queen and knight endgame, it seemed a draw would result. Topalov played on, however, and managed to win a couple of pawns. In the end, though, Kasimdranov did manage to hold the draw with a perpetual check. This meant that rapid tie breaks were required to decide the match. To the surprise of most, Kasimdranov won both games fairly quickly and went through to the final. Topic. The final 
So the final was to be contested between Michael Adams of England and Rustam Kassimdranov of Uzbekistan. Adam's presence in the final was no surprise to most, he had been a member of the chess elite for some years, and chess statistician Jeff Soners, for example, reckoned him to have a 10 to 1 chance of winning before the tournament. Kasimdranov, on the other hand, was never expected to get this far, Soners giving him just a 150 to 1 chance of winning, and although he had achieved some decent results in the past, he remained a largely unknown player. The two had met just three times previously, in a rapid game in Cannes in 2001, in the Bundesliga in 2002, and in WIJKAANZ in 2002. All three games had been drawn. The final was played on July 6, 7, 8, 10, 11 and 12, with a rest day on July 9 and tie breaks on July 13. In the end, Kasimdranov beat Adams 4.5 to 3.5 after the rapid tie breaks, the match having been tied 3 to 3 after the six standard games. At number 28 seed, his victory came as somewhat of a surprise to most of the chess world. Topic: <laughs> Game 1 Adams White Sicilian defense, can variation, b42, 1. e4 c5 2. nf3 e6 3. d4 c x d4 4. nx d4 a6 5. bd3 b c5 6. nb3 bar 7 7. c4 n c6 8. nc3 n g e7 9. o o d6 10. kh1 e5 11. f4 e x f4 12. Bxf4 ing 6 13. Bg3 ng 5 14. B2 00 15. Qe1 b6 16. Nd5 a5 17. A4 bxd5 18. Cxd5 draw agreed. Game 1, in which Adams had white, saw the can variation of the Sicilian defense 1, e4 c5 2, nf3 e6 3, d4 cxd4 4, nxd4 a6. Kasimdranov equalized quite early, and a quick draw was agreed. Topic: <laughs> Game Two, Kasimdranov White. Petrov defense c42. One, e4 e5 two, nf3 nf6 three, nx e5 d6 four, nf3 nx e4 five, d4 d5 six. Bd3 nc6 7. Oob7 8. C4 nb4 9. B2 00 10. Nc3 b6 11. Ne5 f6 12. Nf3 kh8 13. A3 nx c3 14. Bx c3 nc6 15. Nd2 na5 16. Cx d5 bx d5 17. C4 bf7 18. B flat 2 f5 19. B C three C five twenty D five B F six twenty one Q C two B six twenty two B D three B X C three twenty three Q X C three N B seven twenty four N F three N D six twenty five N E five F four twenty six R F E one B G eight twenty seven N C six Q G five twenty eight Q E five Q X E five twenty nine N X E five R F E eight thirty a4 G6 31. G3 FX G3 32. HX G3 kg 7 33. F4 Re 7 34. A5 B5 35. CX B5 BX D5 36. BF1 NF5 37. RA3 ND4 38. Road 1 Road 8 39. RC3 B6 C diagram 40. KF2 RC8 41. RB1 G542. B6 AX B643. AX B6 GX F444. GX F4 BD545. BD3 RF846. Key 3 NC647. RX C5 NX E548. FX E5 B flat 749. B4 RF F750. BX B7 RX B751. Key 4 RFD 752. RC6 KF853. E6 Road 254. RF1 plus Key 855. 
RC8 plus 1 to 0. In game 2, Adams played the Petrov defense. His knight ended up somewhat out of the game on a5, and his e5 square was weak, allowing Kassandranov to plant a knight there and obtain a significant positional advantage. Both players blundered on the last move of the time control after which they each got an extra 15 minutes. In the position shown, Kassandranov played 40, kf2. Which Adams should have answered with 40? nxb5, which is at least equal. Instead, he returned the favor with 40. RC8, and white was still significantly better. Following 41, RB1 G5 42, B6 AX B6 43. Dot AX B6 GXF 4 44. Dot GXF 4 BD5 45, BD3. A similar thing happened when Adams blundered with 45. RF8. This pins the f4 pawn to the king and so seems to leave the e5 knight undefended, and it was probably for this reason that Kassandranov played 46, key 3. However, he could have won immediately with 46, rx c5, when 46, rx e5 does not work because of 47, rc7 plus when black must either break the pin with 47, kf6 or 47, Rf748, Rxf7, Kxf7, thus allowing Fxe5, or else be mated with 47. Kilogram 848, Rg1 plus Kh849, Rxh7 hash or 47. Kh848, Rxh7 plus Kilogram 849, Rg1 plus Rg550, Rxg5 number, 46. NE6 is also no good after 47, RxD5 NXF448, Road 7 RxD749, NXD7 NXD3 plus 50, Key 3. In the event, Adams did not take advantage of White's mistake, and continued with 46. NC6. 46. NE6 was a much better try. The game ended 47, Rx C5 Nx E5 48. Fx C5 B flat 749, B4 Rf F750, Bx B7 Rx B751, Key 4 Rf D752, Rc6 Kf853, E6 Road 254, Rf1 plus Key 855, Rc8 plus and Adams resigned. Topic. Game 3 Adams White Sicilian defense can variation B43 1 E4 C5 2 NF3 E6 3 D4 C X D4 4 NX D4 A6 5 NC3 B5 6 BD3 QB6 7 NF3 QC7 8 OO B flat 7 9 Re1 B C5 10 QD2 B7 11. B3 NF6 12. B flat 2 D6 13. A4 B4 14. Na2 NC6 15. ND4 NX D4 16. BXD4 A5 17. RAC1 0 18. C3 BXC3 19. NX C3 QD8 20. NB5 E5 21. RC7 EX D4 22. Rx B7 D5 23. QF4 B flat 4 24. Road 1 DX E4 25. BX E4 NX E4 26. QX E4 QF6 27. NC7 Rad 8 28. ND5 QD6 29. QX D4 QE6 30. G3 C diagram 30. Road 6 31. Rx B4 Ax B4 32. Ne7 plus Qx E7 33. Qx D6 Qe2 34. Road 4 H5 35. Qx B4 Qf3 36. H4 Rc8 37. Qd2 Rc3 38. Rf4 Qc6 39. Kh2 Rx B3 40. Qd8 plus Kh7 41. QD1 RB742. QXH5 plus kilogram 843. Road 4 QF644. Road 2 RA745. A5 G646. QB5 KH747. 
QB6-1-0. Game 3 was another can Sicilian, but Adams varied from Game 1 early with 5, NC3 instead of 5, BD3. His 10, QD2 in reply to 9, BC5 was a new move previously, 10, E5, which Adams had himself played in his win against Topalov at Tilburg in 1998, was normal, this may be planning 11, QG5 which would prompt a weakening, G6, if black defends with 10, F6, for example, then white can play 11, B4, when 11, BXB4, 11, BD the 6th of May be better 12, NXB5 leaves white with a strong position. Kasimdranov instead retreated with 10. B7, losing a tempo, and he never managed to equalize. Adams' pieces ended up being much more active than the black counterparts, and he eventually planted a strong knight on B5 and a rook on the 7th rank. Adams won a pawn, but turning that into a win did not seem straightforward until Kasimdranov played 30. Road 6, in the position shown. This allowed Adams to make simplifying exchanges with 31, RxB4 AxB4 32, NE7 plus QxE7 33, QxD6, now exchanging queens leaves a fairly trivially one rook endgame, so Kasimdranov instead played 33, QE2, but this lost another pawn after 34, Road 4 H5 35, QxB4, and White had a one position. Kasimdranov resigned on move 47, making the match level at 1.5 to 1.5. Topic: <laughs> Game 4, Kasimdranov White. Rai Lopez, exchange variation, Gligoric variation, C69. 1. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC63. B flat 5 A64. BXC6 DXC65. OOBG46. H3 H57. D3 QF68. B3 BXF39. QXF3 QXF310. GXF3 BD611. ND2 NE712. RFB1 F513. B4 A514. A3 0 15 NC4 AXB416. AXB4 B517. Na5 Ra618. C4 Ing619. KF1 RFA820. BD2 FXE421. FXE4 B722. C5 BF623. Road 1 KF724. Key 2 Key 825. Ra3 NF826. D4 NE627. DXE5 BXE528. B3 B flat 229. Rad 3 B530. RG1 C diagram 30. RXA531. BXA5 RXA532. F4 BXF433. RG6 KF734. RXE6 KXE635. BXF4 RA436. KF3 RC437. B3 B438. Road 4 RXD439. BXD4 G540. Key 3 1 0. After losing with the Petrov in game 2, Adams instead played his usual 2. NC6. Kasimdranov played the exchange variation of the Rai Lopez, as he had against Grischuk in round 5, and they followed theory until Adam's novelty 12. F5. White exchanged pieces and played against Black's weakened queenside, a typical plan in this variation. Adams came under considerable pressure, but it seemed he may be able to hold White off until, in the diagrammed position, he apparently tired of passive defense, and lashed out with 30. RxA5. 30. Key 7 is probably better, which after 31.bxa5 rxa532, f4. bxf433, rg6 kf734, rxe6 kxe635, bxf4 left him with just two weak pawns for a bishop. Adams resigned on move 40. Topic. Game 5 Adams White 
Rai Lopez, Closed Chagoran Variation C97 1. E4 E5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5 A6 4. Bar 4 NF6 5. OO B7 6. Re 1 B5 7. B flat 3 D6 8. C3 0 9. H3 Na 5 10. BC2 C5 11. D4 QC7 12. D5 NC4 13. A4 BD7 14. B3 NB6 15. A5 NC8 16. C4 B4 17. NBD2 G6 18. NF1 NH5 19. BH6 RE8 20. QD2 BF8 21. G4 ING7 22. N3 H2 QD8 23. F4 EXF4 24. QXF4 QE7 25. NF3 F6 26. ING3 8 27. RF1 NE8 28. BXF8 QXF8 29. E5 DX E5 30. NX E5 NC D6 31. Ray 1 QG7 32. ND3 RAC8 33. QF2 F5 34. NE5 NF6 35. NX D7 RX D7 36. GXF5 G5 37. Re6 KH8 38. BD1 G4 39. HX G4 RG8 40. QF4 NX G4 41. BX G4 QX G4 42. QX G4 RX G4 43. KH2 H5 44. KH3 4 45. F6 NF746 RF5 1 0 Topic Game 6 Kassandranov White Rai Lopez closed C91 1 E4 E5 2 NF3 NC63 B flat 5 A64 Bar 4 NF65 00 B76 Re 1 B5 7. B flat 3 0 8. D4 D6 9. C3 B G4 10. B3 EX D4 11. CX D4 Na 5 12. B C2 C5 13. H3 CX D4 14. BX D4 BH5 15. G4 BG6 16. NC3 RC8 17. RC1 NC6 18. B3 NB4 19. B flat 1 D5 20. E5 NE4 21. NE2 NC5 22. BX C5 RX C5 23. RX C5 BX C5 24. NF4 QB6 25. RF1 B4 26. A3 NC6 27. NX D5 BX D5 28. QX D5 ND4 29. Kilogram 2 NX F3 30. QXF3 G631. B4 BD4 32. QE4 B flat 233. Road 1 Road 8 34. RX D8 plus QX D8 35. Bar 2 QE7 36. E6 FX E6 37. QA8 plus KF7 38. QX A6 QD7 39. G5 Key 7 40. QA8 BD4 41. QG8 QC6 plus 42. Kilogram 3 BXF2 plus 43. KXF2 QC2 plus 44. Key 3 and a half to one half, a pawn down, Adams was happy to take the draw with 42. BXF2 43, KXF2 QC2 plus, when White has no way to escape the perpetual check. In fact, though, Adams could have won with 42. QE4, when there is no satisfactory way to escape the mate threat 43. B5 plus 44, F4 QXF4 plus 45, kilogram 2 QG3 plus 46, KF1 QF3 plus 47, kilogram 1 BD4 plus 48, KH2 QF2 plus 49, KH1 QG1 hashtag if white gives his king a flight square on F2 with 43. F3, then he gets mated by 43. 
QE1 plus 44, kg4 QG1 plus 45, KF4E5 plus 46, KE4 QE3 plus 47, KD5 QXF3 number, 43, QXH7 plus also leaves white doomed after 43, KF8, for example, 44, QH6 plus BG745, QH4 B5 plus 46, F4 QE1 plus 47, kg4 QE2 plus 48, kg3 BC3, and white has no defense to B1, or 44, QD7 B5 plus 45, F4 BXF4 plus, more simply, something like 45. QXF4 plus 46, kg2 QXG5 plus 47, KF2 QG3 plus 48, KE2 QG2 plus 49, KD1 QXA2 also wins 46, KF2 B3 plus 47, KF1 QF3 plus 48, KE1 QF2 plus 49, KD1 QF1 plus 50, KC2 QC1 plus 51, KB3 QC4 plus 52, KB2 BD4 plus 53, KB1 QD3 plus 54, KC1 B3 plus, and White loses his queen with mate soon to follow. Topic: <laughs> Rapid Game 1 Adams White. Sicilian defense B30 1. E4 C5 2. NF3 NC6 3. B flat 5 D6 4. OOBD75. Re1 NF66. C3 A67. Bar 4 B58. BC2 RC89. A4 G610. AX B5 AX B511. D4 CX D412. CX D4 BG413. NC3 B414. NE2 BG715. D5 BXF316. GXF3 NE517. R4 plus NFD7 18. ND4 0 19. F4 NC4 20. NC6 RXC6 21. DXC6 NC5 22. QE2 NB6 23. B flat 5 NB3 24. RA6 ND4 25. QD3 NAR8 26. RA4 NC7 27. RXB4 QB8 28. RXD4 BXD4 29. QXD4 QXB5 30. F5 RC8 31. BH6 NE8 32. E5 RXC6 33. EXD6 RXD6 34. QE5 QXE5 35. RXE5 Road 7 36. RC5 F6 37. FXG6 HXG6 38. B3 RB739. BD4 KF740. Kilogram second 641. BC3 E542. Ra5 NC443. Ra1 RB644. B4 ND645. RB1 Key 646. BD2 F547. B3 RB748. BC5 NE449. Road 1 RC750. B flat 6 RC651. Bar 7 RA652. B3 F453. BC1 RA454. RE1 KF555. B flat 2 RX B456. BXE5 F3 plus 57. KXF3 KXE558. Kilogram 4 KF659. F4 NF2 plus 60. Kilogram 3 ND3 O1. Topic: Rapid Game Two, Kasimdranov White, Rai Lopez, Exchange Variation, C68, 1, E4, E5, 2, NF3, NC6, 3, B flat 5, A6, 4, BXC6, DXC6, 5, OOQD6, 6, D3, NE7, 7, B3, ING6, 8, NBD2, C5, 9. A4 B6 10. NC4 QE6 11. ING5 QF6 12. QH5 H6 13. NH3 BXH3 14. QXH3 BD6 15. 
QG4 Road 816. G3 H517. QE2 QE618. F4 EX F419. GXF4 QG4 plus 20. QXG4 HXG421. Ray 1 KD722. E5 B723. F5 NH424. E6 plus FX E625. NE5 plus KC826. FX E6 RDF827. RF7 BD628. BG5 NF3 plus 29. NXF3 GXF330. H4 RXF731. EXF7 KD732. RE8 RX E833. FX E8 Q plus KX E834. KF2 KF735. KXF3 G636. Kilogram 4 Ki 637. BD2 B738. BF4 C639. C4 B540. B3 BF641. B3 B742. BF4 BF843. Kilogram 5 KF744. Kilogram 4 KF645. BG3 BH646. BD6 B347. BG3 Ki 648. BC seven and a half to one half equals 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 match stats.